Hello everybody, this is Jonathan Gardner. We're going to do a tutorial. Um, this tutorial is at the request of a fellow named Peter K. He commented on my first tutorial there. He says, I've seen several players become extremely confused and frustrated because they don't understand why the inserters aren't inserting. And so they waste a lot of time worried that they have placed the inserter wrong and inventing all sorts of fire hypotheses about inserters, only being able to take from one side of the belts and so forth, all that waste and suffering. I think it's important to do everything possible to eliminate it. Good games should be fine. So this is something that actually it I, catches me every once in a while as well, why the inserters aren't inserting. So I have this map here, and this is all vanilla. There's no mods, and this is just normal. Everything, just playing new game. We're gonna test it out. I'm gonna cheat to kind of explain to you what's going on. So um, this is a... Um, that is not the right assembling machine one. There we go. And we're gonna get some uh, basic inserters. That's not right. Basic inserter. There we go. Let's get some uh, iron plate. And let's get some copper plate. All right. So I just cheated. And as you can see in my inventory, there's all the stuff that I have now. Okay, um, I'm gonna need some power. So let's go ahead and cheat some power in. Need an offshore pump. I need a boiler. Let's get uh, 13 of those. And I need a steam engine. I think they're called steam engines. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, we'll find out here in about half a second. Nope, they're steam engines. And we need... Um, we'll do medium powerfuls. Those are nice. They're nice to have. Okay, and we need some coal. To fuel everything. Okay, so... <clears throat> oh, basic belt. I'm going to try to cover everything that inserters do. Uh, hopefully your question will be answered in this video. If not, uh, then you can ask in the comments and I'll make another video and get everybody's questions answered. <clears throat> so, this is way too much, way too much power, but that's okay. Okay, let's lay down. I'm just holding the button down and walking and for so for some reason, this works for uh, power poles, but it doesn't work for any more coal than that. Let's get 500 going. That's a lot of coal. Actually, I should have done 50 times 13. Ah, uh, let's get 50 more. All right, that's plenty of coal. Okay, so we have power. Uh, so this symbol right here on the steam engine. That means that it's not connected to anything that uses power. So, now it is. Okay. And you can see that these things use very little power. So little power. You can see it's just barely moving down. And it's powering this machine doing nothing. Okay. Let's go over how assembling machine works. Assembling machines make stuff, right? So this one says, uh, make iron gear wheels. And I can reset what I want by clicking on this thing and you can choose different things like that and change this. So over here, if you hover over here, it says it takes half a second. It takes two iron plates of which it has zero right now. So that's why it says zero slash two. And it makes one iron gear wheel. It's not explicit about the one, but that's what it means. So if we put like, let's say eight in there. There you go, made four, right? Well, if I put a hundred in there, it's gonna go all the way up to 50. Okay, and it's going to go all the way up until it makes a full stack. Okay, that's what it does. Okay, you put the iron plates in. Let's not, let's make some more iron plates here. Do 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 do. Um, let's make five hundred of these. Okay, you put the iron plates in. I'm going to control left click on one of these empty spaces. It'll move up all the resources this thing needs, and it's going to make a full stack. A full stack of gears is two hundred. It's going to go up to two hundred. Um, 
So let me just make some gears. Ah, that's not a right word. There we go. No, doesn't know what that is. Gear wheel, iron gear wheel. There it goes. So if I take, actually it's a stack of 100, so I'm gonna put that there. Now see what happens when it's full, right? It can't make anymore. It's a full stack. If I take this off, then it's not, it's gonna, you know, obviously make more. Okay, so let's suppose I have an inserter here. Let's suppose I have a box. And consistent with my cheating ways, it says iron box. Uh, oh, great. What is it called? It's called iron chest, I imagine. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put an iron chest here. And I'm going to put all this iron in there. Now, why isn't it putting iron? Well, here, let's grab one sec. Okay. There's 100 iron plates here. But why isn't it grabbing more iron? Because obviously it can't stick more in there. But watch this. Now there's no iron in there. Why isn't it grabbing? It's it's pointing the wrong way. It has power. I mean, this is what it looks like without power, right? So it has power. I'm going to get a steel tool because it's just annoying. Five steel axe. I think it's what's called steel axe. It just takes a long time to deconstruct stuff. Okay. So... Why is it an inserting? Well, the answer is because there is uh, too much stuff in the output, okay? It has nothing to do with the input, okay? Let me kind of explain to you what that means. Let me take out the output. I'm gonna have 100 plates there. Let me take this out, okay? Well, it does have something to do with the input, but not, not what you think, okay? Now, let's take this out, okay? Take the iron gears out. Look, now it's inserting, and then it stops. It'll stop here. Remember, it takes two. Now it stopped. Why did it stop? Because there is output. Okay. It will basically double the amount of input you need as long as there is output. But once there, as long as there's no output, but once there's output here, it stops. Okay, you understand? So this inserter will stop if there's stuff in the output. See? Let me watch, show you that one more time. You see? Okay, this has nothing to do with it, mostly. Okay, all right, got it? It also stops if it doesn't have stuff. Okay, that's what happens. Okay, now, is there any such limit when inserting into boxes? No, the box will go until it's full. You can mark it like, yeah, I only want that many of there whatever you want. It'll just keep putting stuff into boxes. So now we can watch. You can see how that works now. Every two plates makes one. You see how that works. Okay. Let's get rid of the boxes. Let's do belts. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some iron plates. pressing Z to put it on the belt. You can see that it's picking up iron plates. Now you can see that it's pulling it from one side. You see that? It's pulling it from one side. I'm gonna basically shut this down. Okay. Okay, do you see he stops because there's something already on the ground? And he's gonna stop eventually because the output's full. Okay, let's put down a single belt, maybe two belts. So he's going to keep inserting until, you see? Okay, now he was pulling from one side, but let's say I'm going to press F and pick up the stuff up. Okay, let's say it's on the other side of the belt. What's what's going to happen? Let's see what it does. Oh, it's pulling from the other side of the belt. So inserters have a preference for where they'll pull from, but they will pull from the other side if need be. Okay, just to kind of demonstrate to you that this is the case, well, let's put the belts this way. And I'll put some iron plates down here. Z, 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 I'm putting on both sides of the belts. Okay, there we go. 
on both sides of the belt. Let's see which way, let's see which side it pulls from. First, it's pulling from the near side. I'm sorry about the light here. This is vanilla. It's pulling from the near side. Now watch what happens. Okay, now watch. Now it's pulling from the other side. See how that works? The side of the belt is really not important for inserting. It doesn't matter, okay? Now, on the other hand, you see it's always inserting to one side of the belt there. Which side is it inserting on? This is something you'll have to experiment and find out for yourself. Okay, it needs more iron, doesn't it? No, that's the wrong button. This is the right button. Hi, Archie. Okay. So he's putting it on the far side of the belt. Okay, let's put let's put the belts the other way now. You see he's still putting it on the far side of the belt. And he will stop when it gets full. He's not gonna put it on the close side of the belt. So they'll pull from both sides, they'll only put it on one side. Okay. Which means let's say you have a fancy fancy design. Let's put this over here where it belongs. Did you learn your tutorials? Yes, okay. tutorial. So we have... Okay. You see, doing things like this, you can control which side it ends up on. Okay. You can do belt balancing. I'll show that in another tutorial. Uh, but this is the way they work. This is all that they do. Uh, any questions? Why isn't my inserter picking stuff up? It's because the output of the factory is full. And the reason why the output of the factory is full is because there's not, no place to put the stuff that it's producing. This is a feature that they introduced early on in Factorio because um, if you don't do it this way, what happens is the factories will basically consume all the resources. They'll have huge stacks of output. Like in the case of gears, it's a stack of 200. Uh, a case of gears is a stack of 100. Uh, circuits is a stack of 200. Copper wires a stack of 200. It'll suck all the resources off of your system just to make stuff that isn't really needed. Okay, so this is how you can control the flow. Yeah. This is also why I don't use buffers, right? You'll see some people doing things like this. They will basically put a chest here, and they'll have a little output thing here, and then they'll go to the belt, right? Um, there's some popular YouTubers who like to do this, and um, I'm not gonna name names for shame's sake, but they do this uh, thinking that it helps their factory run faster when all it really does is it slows down the response time as you can see when this thing fills up it'll start filling up this and even if you go through and say hey I only want, I only want a stack it's gonna make this huge backup of a hundred gears a hundred right which is a lot it doesn't seem like a lot when you're looking at this view it is a lot okay so you can see it start filling up now you see now it's gonna start filling up all these iron plates will be sucked down to be used for just these gears when you probably want them to use for something else too. Anyway, that's my tutorial. Don't use buffers like this. No, bad, 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 bad. There's one place where you use buffers. Well, I shouldn't say bad, bad, bad. I said don't do this. I don't recommend doing this. Do it if you want to, if you really, really want to, but I don't recommend it. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll continue with another tutorial in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoy this. Take care and goodbye. Oh, if you have questions or ideas for tutorials, comments below and be sure to like this video share it with others uh, YouTube um, recognizes when you click like and it recommends this video to others when you do that and I you know I encourage you to do that thanks bye bye